hello guys uh, welcome to SSS table model video tutorial uh, in last videos we have seen how to create a images within SSS table model and partition how to create a partitions and how to create a relationship between the tables and importing tables in the table model and comparing between uh, table and multi-dimension cube okay and today we will see once we deployed SSAS cube uh, to server okay so you remember in last last tutorial we have deployed this model within the server and how to process is basically because uh, the cube will have a huge data right so how to process this cube uh, there are there are different way to process see one is uh, you can process click on the entire uh, database to process uh, okay so how to process it uh, process the database you can click on this there are multiple options available so by default uh, process default is available and the process full and process clear and recalculate okay so if you want to do full process you can click on the full process and uh, just click ok or uh, you can do it by using uh, the script generation you can click on the create script and you can see uh, the script is generated with full process and if I want default process you can uh, click on the default process the uh, cube will be created this this will be created a script uh, I think I clicked on the default process it will take time to process it and yeah it is running now to process all the tables so here if you see you can click on execute uh, you can also automate using this i'll show you next eight videos how to automate uh, cube process and uh, the manually you can go and right click process it uh, uh, process database and this is what i'm doing it right now here it is processing the cube and apart is it, it is got success you can see here and apart from this you can also do a table process individual you can go to tables and click on the uh, process table so you have the same options available and defragmentation is also available here and it can generate the script to process only one table and you can also process a partitions uh, you don't want to process full table because the last year data and previous months data will not change in it it depends on the business okay so in that case if you don't want to process all so you want to process only the current month or current year yes uh, you can go to partitions and the click on the process part here and you can select the full or partial whatever you want and you can generate the script for the suppose i want to do it for the 2021 the current year generate a script and you can create a sql agent and uh, you can process the, the particular partitions here already okay are uh, every two hours or three hours however you want it you need to just run it this query uh yes these are the way to do one is uh, you can process entire database and the one is you can process the table or you can process particular uh, uh, the partitions if you have okay in last video i have just covered like uh, how to create a partitions that partitions you can automate every day okay so uh, in coming videos i'll just show how to create roles how to uh, automate this partitions and many more things keep watching my videos thank you for watching